How's it going? Trey Clark here, as I usually am. I'm going to jump right into this, as I usually do. I'm going to try and keep this under five minutes. I'm going to call this Owen Benjamin, Dog Fights, and Bill Parcells. All right, working backwards from that title, Bill Parcells, NFL coach. Why is his name coming up? It's because something that stuck with me that someone asked him, how does he get the most out of his players? After He won a Super Bowl with the Giants then went to the Cowboys, probably somewhere in between. Uh, but was coaching the prima donnas and all that kind of stuff. And he said, you put pressure, 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 and you're going to get something out of them. I don't know what it's going to be. You never know. I think that's what they're doing to us right now. And remember the term order out of chaos. So scramble the scene, do whatever. All right, I'm coming up on a minute. All right. Dog fights. I've talked about this in the other uh, podcast the last couple of days. I train dogs, and I've trained dogs that I've had to work through their baggage of maybe being abused or thrown in pits to fight other dogs or maybe being bait dogs tied to a tree. If they don't fight, they're the most useless pieces of garbage to any owner that wants the, the money to flow. So they have to prod them. They put it in there, put them in there together, and then if they don't fight, they just agitate them until they're so stressed that they're going to fight somebody, and that's what happens. And then the money starts flowing. So that's a common theme you're going to hear from me as long as this stuff is happening. And then Owen Benjamin, I'm not a friend of his or whatever. I listen to his podcast a lot, and it's not because... There's not other stuff to listen to. First of all, he's he's funny and he's a musician, so I identify with him, even though he's more talented and popular than I am. But I love just his general message of it's going to be all right. Do your shit. And I guess just I love the idea of growing stuff. We're in the middle of of moving to a, a, a piece of land we're, we're, we're selling our house right as we speak. And I don't like all that crap, but we're doing the goats and chickens and all that kind of stuff. And for nothing other than just getting our hands dirty with actual dirt rather than, you know, computer filth or whatever. So he says some stuff that pretty regularly, almost every time I listen to him. And he does three-hour podcasts, so I can't, you know, he, I'll be worn out by the time uh, I get through about an hour, hour and a half. But it's also interesting with all the conspiracy stuff, but there's some really, E. Michael Jones is the shit, man. He's the one who's helped me to, to reconcile with the, I'm not Catholic, but to not be just 100% Catholic Church does this and all this stuff. There's just a lot of good. They call it gravy if you're if you're not a bear. Uh, whenever you're ladling gravy, it's just like the good stuff, you know, stuff to take in and enjoy. You know, don't have your biscuits dry. And I guess if I'm gonna leave y'all, where am I? All right, I'm coming up on four minutes. If I'm gonna leave y'all with anything as far as what. I'm dealing with, I've been frustrated as hell. I haven't been mad, but I have known this whole time that the we lose if we lose our cool. In my family, with especially with my brother and me, whoever gets mad first loses because you're like, ah, eh, I broke you. That's how it works. In other words, if you finally you're the one that goes, fuck you. Stop it! Or you lose your cool, you just lost. That's what they're doing. They're stirring us up. We are the athlete that that Bill Parcells is prodding. We're the dogs that won't fight under our own, you know, normal circumstances. All right, I'm going to go over five minutes. And they're just prodding us. They're taking our money. They're taking our time. They're taking our pride if you're a man that, you know, providing and used to your 
office at work and now you can't even go in there and uh and they're taking our i guess just the mojo and they're doing it on purpose because once you take all that stuff away what's the first thing you're going to do you're going to get pissed and this may sound like a mirror of my last uh podcast but i want to drive it home and i want to say it in a way that i'm not like just that's what they do order out of chaos okay order out of chaos chaos brings order if you back if you make it backwards and that's all they're doing all these seattle is not forming a country named chaz that stretches six blocks but if you if you pay attention and you know the end game what they want is for us to 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 blow our tops but once you know that then it's easy not to you just go you know what you can do whatever you want but i'm not playing your game i'm not gonna bite so just use your discernment and pay attention and remember that even if you're conservative Fox News is still Tucker Carlson. I love watching him. It's a lot of fun to watch, but he's still Fox News. Okay. They have to have that other agitator. Otherwise, this doesn't work. Us going to war, the poor against the middle class, has to go to war. Otherwise, there's no money to be made. There has to be a war between us and other countries. Otherwise, there's no money to be made. And that's how this all works. And until we get it through our uh, thick skulls that it's better just not to engage at all. It doesn't mean turn the other cheek if someone's breaking in your door. I'm just saying I'm not playing that game. I'm not going to keep promoting the fear because, yeah, we all get pissed off. We do. We get really mad, and we should, at injustice. And they play on that. They know that. There's a plan for that. So, hope you are well. Cheers, guys. Out.